Welcome everybody to my first ever episode of Minecraft Survival. Come and join me in my adventure in my survival world. Also, please don't forget to subscribe because this series is going to be a good one. Let's just get started. Here we are in the survival world. This is actually my first survival series I've ever done, so let's see how it goes. Oh look, there's a village. Alright, let's go and check it out. We don't have a blacksmith, but we, what we do have is food from this house here. I mean, you know, I can get my hearts back up at least. That's that's pretty good to, to see. Might as well get these hay bales here as well. Bo bo beep ba bo beep boom kaboom. There we go. Ah, uh, we got more to do. Bow. There we go. We have 54. Wow, that's gonna last me a while. So let's go and find a crafting table or we should make one actually. Let's go and find a tree, which I guess we'll use this one here. There we go. Alright, um, we'll kill the iron golem in a bit. But first of all, let's uh, make a crafting table. Now this is 1.18.1, uh, which is the latest version of Minecraft. Um, which I think is pretty cool. I, I'm enjoying Minecraft in the new versions. With these amazing mountains. I gotta love them, they're so good. Alright, got some stone, and let's now make some tools. Our stone axe, and the stone pickaxe. Alright, now let's kill the iron golem. There we go. Let's see how much iron we got. We got four iron. Oh, that's just about below the max we can get from an iron golem, which isn't too bad. Now let's go exploring for a bit, because I mean, you got to explore the world to see, you know, where we can build our house. We also need to get, well actually, I think we're covered for food. We got a lot of bread, so I think killing cows can be something we can do oh, another time. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're definitely not doing that until we have iron armor because those are, I you know, they're kind of easy to deal with, but I'm going to get a shield first before I go in there. But right, let's see what we're dealing with here. It's kind of like a bit dull in this area. Um, We could build it. Oh, we could build a house there. And then we have this like open like sp sea area. I like that idea. We're going to do that. We can always move our house later on down the line. This is going to be, hopefully, a long series. So, you know, it could uh, be pretty good once we're all geared up. Right, let's go and deal with these pillagers. We need to be careful not to go into a village with the, the effect on, though. Wait, are they not even here? Well, that makes it easy. Wow, okay. Wait, why is it abandoned? Oh! <gasps> Ooh, enchanting. Okay, we've got some tripwires as well, so we can do some redstone stuff. Uh, let's gonna grab these banners here as well. Okay, I'll just let them drop on the- Oh, wait, we're not here alone. We're not here alone. Okay, I nearly fell off there. In the water we go. Alright, where is he at? He's gone inside, I think. Yep, there he is. There we go, that one's done with. Where did these guys all come from? Okay, now I have the um, effect on me, so the omen effect. Alright, Iron Golem, I'm here to save you. We got two Iron Golems. Ooh, okay. It's very nice. Okay, right, let's get rid of that. And jump across. Alright, here we go. How much iron do we have? Ooh, okay. Not bad. Time to get the other Iron Golem. Wait, these are- What are you doing in there? You're not an Iron Golem. You're an Iron Golem, though. Okay, good job that this isn't a hardcore series because <laughs> <laughs> I am currently working on a 100 days video and luckily I haven't died to an iron golem in the 100 days video Because I swear to god if that ever happens to me, I will give up <laughs> I'm currently on like day 40 something 43. So if I die to an iron golem man, that's gonna be super annoying Okay, all we need to do is be extremely careful. Don't go near him. Where's my shield? Where's my shield? Where's my shield? Oh, it's there. Okay. Just to be clear, I can last longer than that in hardcore. I don't know why I died so early. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> Let's heal up because I took a lot of damage getting here. And let's grab our axe. Let's actually go on top because I don't want to die again. Uh, the tactic is to go from above the iron golem, not on the same level, which is what my mistake was. Which luckily in my hardcore world, I never went on the same level as the iron golem. And wow, okay. It, my axe just broke as I killed it. See, when I'm in hardcore, I'm way more like serious with surviving but when i'm in survival i i die basically oh my god look at all the sugar cane we can get amazing all right i say that we find somewhere to go well we're gonna build our house just over there by the birch forest eventually all the birch forest will be gone and we'll have like a whole city built up there it'll be pretty sick oh my god yes the sun's uh, the moon's going down okay right let's start chopping down these trees because we need to get onto that soon let's drop the rotten flesh because who needs rotten flesh these days like come on <laughs> i only need rotten flesh when i don't have food and i have food so there's no worry about that i could actually start building the frame of my house because i feel like using stripped wood could be quite a good idea like let me 
me show you guys. Okay, look at this. So if we have these as pillars, right? Look at this. It looks like oak, which I think is pretty cool. Now, if we use that as like the pillars of the house, I feel like that could look extremely nice. Ooh, iron. Let's go. Okay, let's see how many iron we can get. Okay, two. Okay. Right, I guess it's time to build our house because uh, we're getting into the series now and we haven't built the house yet. So let's do that. So I feel like maybe here. Yeah, I feel like around here. Just maybe like get rid of these bits here and then build it around the middle. Let's just have a time lapse because, you know, time lapses are amazing and I love them. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright, nice. I did accidentally mine two of the wrong blocks because I wasn't looking at the screen for us for like a second. Alright, so I feel like maybe cobblestone and the stripped logs could be an amazing combo. So let's try that. <laughs> so what I feel like we should do is uh, we'll have the first pillar here. So up to there, which is one, two, three, four, five blocks high, which is good. Uh, and then if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Then that'll be 10 here. Does that leave a middle? Okay, wait, we need to go one out. Okay, now it's good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run it going down to here. And then we're just going to go down it like this. Which will basically be like a staircase going down to the water in a way. Or we could have it as waterfalls on either side of the house which could also be a very cool idea yeah i think we'll have it as waterfalls so we'll have a waterfall coming down this side and a waterfall coming down this side obviously we're gonna have to clear out this bit of the mountain here because this is where the, basically where the inside of the house is uh let's go and mine some more birch all right there we go we've got 50 that should be enough for now but i think it's time for a big time lapse where we're going to mine out a big area and we're also going to start building the out of the outer frame of the house. Let's go. Right, there we go. We have a main frame for the house and uh, we've cleared out quite a bit of the area now. Um, obviously, we're going to have to do some tidying up back here because it's just a flat wall. So we're going to do some terraforming here just to make it look normal. But yeah, I guess let's start building up the house because we have a lot of cobblestone now uh, from that massive mine. So yeah, let's go. I won't do this one as a time lapse because, you know, you've had like three time lapses already and I'm sure you've had enough of it already. So yeah, I'm just going to do this off camera, I guess. Right, I think we've got the, well, most of it done. I might add some more rooms at the back, actually, because uh, it's a bit, oh, I forgot to do this. There we go. Right, I've got a design for the roof here, and I feel like it's pretty cool design. It's like a sort of, like, slopey sort of design. I'm going to need to get a lot more cobblestone, because I'm starting to run out now. So I need to make more stairs. Uh, my pickaxe, there it is. I did die to another skeleton, because skeletons are overpowered in this game. Seriously, they do so much damage per shot. But luckily, as I said, it's not hardcore so I don't need to worry about dying. The only thing that is annoying is that I lost quite a few levels. I think I was on like level 9. But not to worry we can get those levels back easily by mining coal or going to the never to mine quartz so I'm not too worried basically. The whole point of this series is to create a cool world out of survival basically like a whole city. I'm going to be building some pretty big interesting things in this series so if you're excited please be sure to hit the like button because I'm excited as well. Right I feel like I should probably get a bed because every time I die and I'll go to spawn and I I end up getting here with like three hearts which is really risky and really annoying if I do die so I see a sheep over here so let's go and kill it all right now we just got to find two more sheep yeah two more sheep oh my god hello wait a second 
That's the, that's the thing. That's the new thing. Okay, we need to check that out. But first we must find sheep because I cannot deal with not having a bed because it's the worst thing ever. Okay, I did not get any luck finding any more sheep. So I'm guessing I'm just going to have to wing it and hopefully not die again. All right, the front side is now complete apart from the windows. I've gone through so many pickaxes in this one episode. You don't even know. But yeah, my plan right here is to have one window at the top here. We're going to also have a little tiny like roof thing for the the beginning bit which is why i didn't continue mining this bit here so for this bit here i feel like we should go so we start off here and then we go up to this one here okay very nice uh and then just do this okay that doesn't look right okay that will do <laughs> Right, now we just need to get fences. Fences, fences, fences. All right, we've got six, which is exactly what I need. Okay, so there's gonna be, okay, one window there. We're gonna have another window just here, which will be six blocks high and two blocks wide. Same on the other side. All right, there we go. The back roof side is done. Now we just gotta do the big window, which I'm gonna go inside for, cause then I'll be able to sort of see where I want it. Right, so we're not gonna go for a window at the bottom here. I feel like we'll go for a big circle one the top yeah that's gonna be awesome actually i like the idea okay so let me mark this out so let's start it and it's just gonna be like a circle there we go right i feel like now we just need to get a bunch of sand which there should be some near because there's water just outside my house and it normally oh it's nighttime of course it is oh my god my axe is gonna break soon okay there isn't a lot of sand but i can see sand over there and there and over there so it's not a problem to get sand which is good Definitely did not almost just die to skeletons. <laughs> right, before I get some sand, I think it's time for a snack break because I'm hungry. Guys, I just came back and I hurt my leg running up the stairs. Ow. Obviously, that's not going to stop me from getting sand, so let's go and get sand. <laughs> what's left to do now is water on the sides and uh, a little bit of cleanup on the floor inside because, you know... It's not really looking very nice. I also might change this bit here to birch because it might look nicer uh, with the contrast of the actual place here. And there we go. We have some water flowing down the sides here, which is looking very nice. And uh, yeah, we just got to work on the staircase here. And we're going to add some dirt here for some plants, which is going to green up the place a little. Right, let's quickly grab some of this dirt here. It's just going to basically add enough to add some flowers and, you know, make it look nice. Obviously, I don't know how I'm going to get any grass over over here because of where it is but we'll have to see that's looking quite nice like that it doesn't look that nice at the minute actually because of the dirt but once it turns into grass it will uh, it'll um, it'll make a lot of sense that's when it turns into grass because i don't know how to turn it to grass without making a whole trail come from the grass all right there we go we got the dirt in place uh, i need to find out how to actually you know make it into grass because obviously there's no grass around for it to spread to so uh yeah that's gonna have to wait for now um but we're gonna add some more birch here just like this and then we're gonna do it going up like this as well see i'm actually quite a good designer i didn't really think about it before but once it's done it's gonna look really cool Alright, let's see what this thing looks like now. Okay, that's looking really nice, actually. Wow, I... And then, of course, we can have a staircase going up to the place right here. This will still be turned into birch once I'm done. Uh, actually, we'll do that now. Alright, there we go. That looks a lot better, in my opinion. It just adds a different contrast to the to the place, which is really nice. Oh my god, I'm such a cool builder, aren't I? I never even realised it before. I mean, this has taken me, like, two hours to do... But it's worth it. it. It looks very nice. And um, I can see myself staying here for most of the series. Right, so for the stairs then. We don't really want to use any more cobblestone. Because we've got way too much cobblestone. So maybe we need to add more birch to contrast it. Because we don't have a lot of birch, if you can see. We've only got this bit here. But on the house, there's not really a lot of birch. And I just think having it like that would be so nice to have. And it's becoming night time again. Great. I still have no bed. At some point, this whole forest is going to be gone. <laughs> I'm using so much birch already. Like, it's it's insane. Like, there was a bunch of trees here before, but now it's just all clear. This hole right here will be eventually, like, gone. You know, there's a lot of stone around here, which will eventually be turned into grass. Because, you know, it's kind of a bit dull, and I don't really like it that like that. But it's all good. It'll just take time. Oh my god. I'm so happy with this. Look at this. You just walk up in here like this, and... 
Oh, it's such a good opening. You have this room here, which will probably be the kitchen. We'll have the storage over here. This room will probably be something. I don't know what yet. And all those two rooms will also be something. My bed will be right here. I can already imagine this whole house coming together. Okay, so for the flooring and the interior, I feel like I'm going to use oak wood. Because that's... Oh, actually, spruce wood. Spruce wood is my, like, favorite wood. And it's up there, so it's not, like, a whole far distance to get to. But I feel like I'm going to wait until it's daytime again, because I don't want to deal with these guys again so i guess let's just start clearing out this floor then because uh we're going to do it at some point and then might as well do it while it's night time Right, we're currently at 35 spruce uh, logs, but I'm going to aim for around a stack because I feel like that's how much it's going to take to actually fill in the whole house. Right, I think 52 is enough. <laughs> Whoa, look at the house from here. It looks pretty big. It looks like a barn. I mean, it has that sort of barn shape in a way. But like, the roof's got that like custom built way in a way. <laughs> I just said way like a bunch. Well, I've cleared out the floor here, which is pretty nice. I'm also making some stone for repairing stuff outside. So what I need to do uh, is turn it all into planks. Oh boy. Yep, there's a lot of planks. Oh yeah, this is definitely enough. Okay, right, let's start. And there we go, the floor is complete. Uh, that's not though. Wow, I just noticed that, what the hell? Okay, there we go, looking very snazzy. Let's just get another overview of the house quickly. Boom! Oh, it's looking so good. Once the grass comes in at some point, uh, I have to go get grass first. Then it will look it will look way nicer. We can get some flowers on here, and it will look much better than it already does. So I'm going to need to change where this door is, because of uh, the storage system that we're going to be having. There we go, that's done. Now we've got to do this side. There we go. Right, this these two doors here are fine, but those two doors are also now fine. And I think next time we'll make this... The more chests here and then add item frames and whatnot to them to be able to tell which chest is what. Well anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the survival series. There's going to be more and more and more so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Also don't forget to check the two videos on the screen because I've been putting a lot of effort into these videos. Of course see you guys in the next one. Ooh.